Man, it's a cold one out here today. I think the temperature is about 10 degrees below zero uh, Fahrenheit. With the wind chill makes it about 25 below, 30 below, something like that. So it's a nice warm day and I figured, hey, let's see if we can't fire this thing up. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a brush and clean off the hood and uh, steal a battery out of something, throw it in here and see if we'll start on this beautifully warm day. All right, we've got a battery in it. It should be charged up. Hopefully I threw it on the charger for a little bit. Let's see what happens. You can tell my camera's cold because, I don't know if it'll show up in the video, but on, on my little uh, display screen here, it's real, uh, real laggy. Yeah, I'll take off that other glove. Wow, I can barely turn the, uh, turn the key even. That's cool. I don't even have to touch it. <laughs> that's how cold it is. Well, I really don't think that's going to start. Not on its own. Maybe I can get another car here to jump it, but it's just way too cold. Well, that definitely took some maneuvering, but uh, I got the Buick here between these two trees, backed up to it because the battery's in the back seat, of course, and I didn't hit anything so that's good and my jumper cables actually reach from the back seat to the battery so let's go ahead and uh, give her a shot I may have to uh, let it run for a while but we'll give her give her a go now see if it's any better well definitely better Look at that. I don't even have to touch it. That's how cold it is. Well, I think maybe some ether just to get it to pop. We'll let this charge while I go grab the can. All right, I got some ether. Let's spray her in and uh, see if she'll pop off. I feel good about it. I think she's going to work. Well, I got a little bit of a pop out of it. I'm going to let it charge up for a while and uh, see what happens. All right, it's been charging for a little bit, a little while. I had to go back inside the house there while this thing was charging because my coffee was beginning to freeze. And uh, the starting fluid, it's more liquid than uh, vapor at this point. But I put some in there anyway, uh, and it's been charging for a while, so let's see if it starts. Well, that sucked. Uh, it was so cold out here, my camera actually quit working. Uh, stopped recording, turned off, and wouldn't turn back on. So, fortunately, you guys didn't really miss anything because the car didn't start. But uh, I've got the battery on the camera all charged up and thawed out. Also, I charged the uh, battery on the car overnight. So, hopefully, that'll crank over just fine and we won't have to jump it. Uh, so, let's throw some starting fluid in this thing and see if it uh, fires up because it's just about as cold as it was yesterday, just a lot less wind. Well, unfortunately, it looks like I'm going to have to jump it, but uh, I'm going to grab the camera and put it in my pocket this time. 
hopefully it stays uh, warm enough to keep working. Alright, we've got the Buick back in position and uh, we've got the jumper cables on it. Let's see if she'll crank over a little faster, maybe even start. Yeah, battery cable issues never end. Finally started. Definitely a cold start. I'm glad I finally got it going. Al Gore's gonna be so pissed. Oh well. I suppose we could take the jumper cables off and uh, let this thing warm up a bit. Well, she's running halfway decent. I, uh, I don't think I'll have enough room to uh, get her out of here. It's a little bit bigger than the Buick, but what the heck, we'll give it a shot. See, what, see if it'll even move. Well, it'll move, and I probably can get it out here. Looks like I got enough room. But uh, I need to clean off the window so I can see something. All right, now I can see out the windows a little bit. Let's see if we can get her out of here.
Well, she's free. Idling a bit high, but let's see if we can go for a quick spin. Hopefully, I don't run out of gas. Runs pretty good. I didn't check the coolant or the oil, but probably be fine. Hood's not shut all the way, so we'll uh, we'll take her a little slow. Yeah, not too bad at all. I don't know. This used to have a problem where it wouldn't shift out of first when it was cold. I don't know if it still does or not. On the way back, we'll, uh, we'll give her a little bit and see what she does. Yeah, brakes still work. That's always a good thing. This thing used to idle so high, it once took me three tries to get up this uh, little hill coming the other way. <coughs> it just kept spinning, this thing was glare ice. First time I had made it halfway up, had to back up. Second time, I couldn't stop, I had to go all the way through. Finally made it on the third time. Now let's see if she sh shifts out of first. I don't know. Uh, revving pretty high. I don't think it will. I think she's pretty much stuck in in first until it warms up. We're not going to run it quite that long because uh, yeah, I'm pretty much out of gas. So we'll just get her parked back where it's got to be, hopefully. Spins real nice. Probably stuck here now. <laughs> yeah, well, no. Well, I can go backwards downhill. That's fine. But can I get back uphill? That's that's the question. This thing ain't exactly made for the snow. Well, of course, as soon as I put down the camera, got her, got her right in there. Drove right in. I'm pretty close to where I was. Parallel parking is not this uh, this car's strong suit. Plus, I didn't want to hit the uh, Oldsmobile or knock down my shelter, so I took my time with it. But runs good, still drives. Not a winter car, though. <laughs>